Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what's in my skincare basket. So I thought it would be fun to share with you kind of the things that I use on a daily basis or at least a weekly basis, some of these products. So we will just start from the top, I guess. So the first thing is I have my deodorant in here and I have been trying to make the switch to all natural deodorant. This deodorant is from Native. This is the coconut and vanilla scent. It smells so good. And if you like coconut and vanilla, you will love this because it does actually last throughout the entire day. Um, I have tried two other brands of natural deodorants. I can't remember. I know one was Schmidt and there was another one that I can't recall. So I'll post pictures of those. Those did not work. They did not help with the smell, and I believe it was the Schmidt one actually burned my underarms. And I tried to use it a couple times, and I kept having that issue, so I just had to quit. But recently, I have gone to this native deodorant, and I feel like it has been working. Um, the only issue that I find with it is that I feel sweaty. Um, more sweaty than I would with a traditional deodorant, but I don't notice any smell. And even when my best friend came down from Pennsylvania for Christmas, I told her, I was like, hey, I started trying a new natural deodorant. If you smell me at any point today, let me know because I need to kind of field test this. And I, unless, you know, she didn't want to hurt my feelings, um, she didn't tell me that I smelled. And I kept checking myself throughout the day. So recently, like I said, I have been using the native deodorant in coconut and vanilla. All right, for daytime, or more so morning uh, skincare, I have my sunscreen. I've used this for quite some time. It's the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel uh, SPF 50. Now, when I run out of this, I'm probably going to try one from CeraVe, um, just because I want to try a more um, accessible drugstore sunscreen to recommend to you, because it's as of right now, the only place I know that you can purchase this is Amazon. So I like it. I feel like it works great. It works very nicely under makeup, but I am just going to, for the sake of experimenting, try something different when I run out of this. All right, as far as moisturizer in the daytime, I have been using from 4th Ray Beauty, which if you don't know, is kind of like a sister brand for ColourPop. I have been using their The Daily um, Facial Moisturizer as well as the, the Daily Eye Cream. What's the difference between these two? I honestly couldn't tell you. Okay, so there's the face cream, or excuse me, the facial moisturizer. Let's see. Okay, the eye cream is thicker. It's much more whipped in consistency. So there's a difference in consistency in those, but those are what I use for daytime moisturization. Um, for my lips, I keep in here, this is just from Ulta Beauty. It's a sun protection broad spectrum SPF sunscreen um, in a lip balm, and this is in tropical coconut. If you can't tell, I love the scent of coconut. Oh, it smells so good. So I tend to just throw that on during the daytime as well. Also, I do try to use a vitamin C when I remember. And this is one that I actually picked up at TJ Maxx. I looked it up on Amazon and it seemed to have pretty good reviews. Uh, I don't know what the brand Medics, 55 Medics, I don't know. But here is what it looks like. I picked this up, like I said, from TJ Maxx. This is vitamin C plus ferulic acid firm and brighten serum. It says it diminishes the look of age spots, dryness, wrinkles, expression lines, and uneven tone. It says it has glycolic acid, ferulic acid, and lactic acid. So this is my vitamin C serum. I haven't noticed a huge difference with it, but I will be 100% honest, I have not been diligent in applying it every single day. Maybe that can be my goal for March is to make sure that I'm applying my vitamin C every single day. Also, I do have the Physicians Formula Refreshment Cucumber and Bamboo Eye Depuffer. Um, this isn't something I use every day, but only when I feel like I need to. It is really nice. It is very moisturizing and cooling, like it says, and it does feel good under your eyes when you first wake up. But again, this isn't something that I use every single day. Um, I also keep this in here. <laughs> this is my heel file because sometimes your girl just has to perform some maintenance. 
Um, let's see what else. Okay, so throughout the day, if I need some hydration added back into my skin, I have this from Fourth Ray Beauty. This is their Mellow Milk Mist. I also like to use this whenever I dermablade my face. Like I will spray it in little spots and kind of razor that section and then go on to the next section. And I feel like it allows the razor to glide more, um, easily than if I try to do it on bare skin. So I kind of use this for a uh, multi-purpose. Um, let's see. Okay, if I'm going to be going in with a foundation that is very drying or something that is more mattifying, then I will use this moisturizer on my face. This is from L'Oreal. This is the Age Perfect Hydro Nutrition Day Cream. Now, I got this a long time ago because Honestly, I had a lot of coupons for it and it ended up being like under $5. And this is a more expensive product, especially if you purchase it at like CVS. So I've had this for a while and then one day I was watching Emily Noel and she talked about this product being a dupe, being very similar to the Bobbi Brown um whatever that product is in that little round pot and so I just thought that that was really cool because I already owned it but like I said I use this moisturizer depending on what kind of foundation I'm going to be using that day okay everything else in here is more nighttime skincare so before we jump into that I am going to show you what I use to clean my face so I, since I started doing makeup and started doing YouTube especially I try to double cleanse so if I am wearing a lot of makeup, like today I have a full face of makeup, like I have the Maybelline Superstay foundation on, so I'm going to need something that's really going to cut through all of this makeup. So the first step that I will do in my double cleansing process is use some of the Clinique Take Off the Day Balm. Now I got this when they had it 50% off through Ulta during one of those sales, and it is it's really good. Um, this is for when you really need to cut through the makeup. This will get your mascara off. It, it will get everything off. And it's really interesting because you apply it to your face dry. Um, I love this. But because it is expensive, I don't use it daily. Like I said, I only use this to take off my makeup when I have a lot of makeup on. Like I've done a full face, full glam. I need to really deep clean my skin. Also, I believe Emily Noel recently stated that there is a type of balm from e.l.f. Or maybe it was Manny MUA. So when I run out of this, I will be trying the one from e.l.f. Now, this is my first step in my cleansing process if I don't have a lot of makeup on. If I've gone very light, if I've gone more natural, or if I've just done my skincare and not applied any makeup at all, I will use the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil for Face. So I really enjoy this and this is probably my third bottle of this that I have purchased. As you can see, I've already gone through it. So this is more of my everyday first step in my cleansing process. Again, depending on what type of makeup I've used or if I've used makeup at all. Regardless of if I've wore makeup or not, the second step in my cleansing process is always to use the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser, and this is for normal to dry skin. I feel like this just gets the final bits of makeup off if there's anything that's been left over, any oil, um, especially because these are a, you know, an oily balm and an oily product, that removes that oil from my face to make sure that I've really got a nice cleansed um, skin and I've removed not only the makeup but now the oil that I've put on from the other two products. Now getting into my nighttime skincare, I will go in with, so I kind of have like three different routines. So uh, sometimes I will use the Polish Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. So when I do that I will rub that all over my face. I'll let it do its thing. And then later I will come back in and I will just do some moisturizer and eye cream. So I just kind of really let this penetrate the skin and remove those, you know, dead skin cells and um, also put it on my neck. And then I will apply my CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion as well as the CeraVe Eye Cream, Eye Repair Cream after I use the Polish Choice. Now, other nights, I will use the Olay Regenerist Retinol 24 Night Serum, and when I do this, I 
just use this. This is all I will apply after I have washed my face and gotten out of the shower. So I will apply this all over as well as onto my neck and that's the only step that I do. Now, if I'm not using the Polish Choice or the Olay Retinol 24, I will go in and I will start with some um, hyaluronic acid. This is from The Ordinary. I will place this all over my face as well as onto my neck. I will let it kind of sink in and dry down to where it is a little bit tacky. While that's kind of doing its thing, I will exfoliate my lips by using this exfoliator lipstick, whatever you want to call it, from e.l.f. This one's in Sweet Cherry. I've had other ones before. I've had the brown sugar. I've had the mint one. And honestly, this is my favorite lip exfoliator. I have had the ones in the past that are in the pots, and they just don't do enough. Like, you're trying to scrub, and they just start to disperse all over your face, and they don't stay where they need to to really exfoliate your lips. So for me, these are the best lip exfoliating product that I have ever used. So after the hyaluronic acid has sunk into my skin, I will go in again with my CeraVe and I will also add a few drops of this 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. This is also from The Ordinary as well. So I will take a few pumps of this into my hands, take a few drops of the rose hip seed oil, massage it in, and then I will rub that all into my face as well as onto my neck, making sure that I also get my upper lip area and under my nose because that's where I tend to get really dry is like right here in this area because I'm constantly blowing my nose. Then I will also go in again with my CeraVe eye cream. Then for my lips, I have been using the Wet n Wild Sleeping Lip Mask. So I will apply that onto my lips after I have exfoliated. This is... I think there's only one type, but this is an overnight leave-on lip mask infused with calming lavender, moisturizes and soothes for smooth, supple lips. It doesn't have the best smell. Like to me this doesn't smell like lavender. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. But it does do the job in moisturizing your lips. And then lastly, I have, that's not it. Where did it go? So I have two more things to talk about. So after I've done my skincare on my face, I go in with this hand food hydrating hand cream. And this is from Soap and Glory and this is in the original pink scent. And it has rose and bergamot. And what's so funny is when I purchased this, I did not realize that it had bergamot, but I was thoroughly pleased because I love the smell of bergamot. It's one of my favorites. And this moisturizes your hands so nicely. And then one product that I forgot about and I wanted to mention is this Lumi deodorant. This is for underarms and private parts. This is aluminum free, baking soda free, doctor developed, and hypoallergenic. And mine is in the scent Lavender Sage. Now, one of the reasons that I want to mention this is because as a bigger girl, or really just anybody, it doesn't even matter. You don't even have to be female to use this deodorant. But for me in particular, especially now coming into spring and summer, I like to use this under my bra area. Like, we all know, we all get the boob sweat, and it just, ugh, like, ugh. So I like to use this under my boobs and really let it rub in and let it dry because it really is going to help with sweat as well as any unpleasant smells that might occur. Like, I think there's just a stigma with bigger people that they're going to smell. And let me tell you, I ain't going to smell. I'm going to have my deodorant, I'm going to have my Lumi, and I'm going to have my perfume. And obviously, I'm going to clean and wash myself, duh. But like, I'm also going to take the extra precautions to prevent any smells. So, I have been using this Lumi deodorant under my bra, and I really, I like it. So, just a quick little update for the end of this video. It is currently the second week of March that you are watching this, and I have had to send my computer back for repairs. So, I am currently trying to film um, a lot of videos in this one week. This is the first week of March, my time, and so that way I can have at least two videos a week through March and potentially one video at the beginning of April. My hope is to have my computer back by April, so if there's like a week or so in April that you don't see me, don't leave. <laughs> I will be back and I will have content coming as soon as I get my computer back. If you do not follow me on Instagram, I encourage you to do so because that's where I 
update you a lot about what's going on with my videos when I upload. Uh, if there's any reason that I can't, I'm very active in my story, so I will put my Instagram information here, and hopefully I will not be gone for too long. So that is all the products in my skincare basket. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you will like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.